Okay, hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Hunter Ascended. Um, this is, again, another behind the scenes. Um, if you've been following along, guys, yeah, you will know that we now have power downstairs in our awesome new house. Um, we've got our automatic power set up there, okay? Uh, we have this functioning properly with all the plates, so we can make things a lot easier now, which is what we need to continue. Um, and yeah, episode 20 is coming up soon, uh, in which we are going to basically try and do as much of this stuff as possible. But, I just wanted to get a few more bits done with this immersive engineering. Um, and by a few more bits, I just kind of mean two major things. One of them is going to be we're going to do the improved blast furnace and work about with that a little. And we're going to get a crusher set up, okay, in this part. Hopefully, this is the idea. I think first off, we're going to go for the improved blast furnace, okay? Um... So, if you click it and go across, it's going to show you, yeah, what you need. It's going to tell you what you need. Look, 27 reinforced blast bricks in one hopper. Nothing too crazy. Um, the blast bricks, yeah, if we just type in blast, yeah. Look, reinforced. It's literally just them ones we've got there, but with a steel plate on top of it. And we've got plenty of steel now. So, we can make this relatively easily, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to take out these bits and bobs, okay? Um... Chuck them there, and we're very simply going to destroy it. Boop. Done. We're going to be replacing it with another one of these cold, cold ovens eventually, so we don't have to worry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah, now all we're going to do is we're going to turn these into the 27. Do we have 27 plates right now? Oh, look at that, 28. You can't ask for it to do better, can you? Wasn't even planned. It was just, it was just as many as we had left over from yesterday by the looks of it, which is good for us. There's no complaining, guys. So, we've got the 27 of them now. All we're going to need is a hopper. Now, this structure's quite bigger than the other one, I believe. We can also put, like, upgrades on it. So, I'm actually going to put it here and give it its own, like, space, I feel like. Um, if we get the center, which I don't think there is one because it's single cell, the center would actually be here. We're going to leave this one forward, though, because I'm pretty sure we need the space at the back. So, what we're actually going to do is we're going to build it here not like what you just saw that's just my mouse being an absolute dirt you know it's either my mouse or my fingers have got like arthritis or something <laughs> something's going wrong along the lines isn't it because i keep just like double clicking all the time let's click this pick it back up so that's the simplest version of it just like that yeah um I'm hoping this is going to be enough space. Like it's been a while since I've actually built one of these. Um, I've only ever built it once, but I know there's add-ons that you can build on it. Like look, if we uh, look blast furnace preheaters and stuff like that. So we're going to just quickly go and get a hopper and get this built, and we can have a look what it looks like. I think we've got an actual hopper spare up here somewhere. There we go. Just like magic, everybody. Just like magic. All right. We go like that. And then we just need our almighty hammer. We're going to become far again for a moment. Where do we click? Are we clicking this part? Oh, done. Oh, yeah, it doesn't appear too big right now, but like we need the extra space for the automatic. Where's our energy going again? Um, there's a chimney, which I think we can use to put the stuff in, potentially. Right? Huh. We're gonna we're, we're gonna see what we can do, guys. We're gonna see what we can do. Yeah, um, I believe this will just like actually function just like a normal setup as well. If we just grab a stack of this back over here, there you go. Um, improved blast furnace. There's no real much difference. Um, so if we read a bit about it, like the improved blast furnace, yeah, uh, is more more professional way of creating steel not only does it allow for automation of in and outputs it also it can also be outfitted with preheaters to speed up the refinement process by addition of hot air the furnace is made from enforced bricks all right you gotta show us the other's output at the front of the furnace slag at the back and the furnace will automatically output to connected inventories. All right then. So, 
that basically means if we can go and grab ourselves two chests and we'll just make us if we've got do we have the plates do you reckon we'll see we'll see we want a decent sight we want a decent amount you know um you give me this please thank you yeah that'll do for now that'll do we'll just go kind of mess about with it a little bit um I like to use these gold ones for now. How many have we got? Plates. So we ain't got enough. That's not an issue. Look what we do. We grab 16 of these. Yeah. Make sure that's here and that's here. So we can actually interact with this. What are you? Oh, it's already on the plate mode. Sorted. Look. Hee <laughs> hee. And squish. Plate. And squish. Plate. <laughs> Makes me happy. We're just gonna make plates just like that, okay? Um, so this is going on about automatic input, yeah? So then on the side and the side that we can put preheaters. It's gotta give us the slag at the back and the thing at the front, which is here. I think the automatic input for coal will be at the top here, but that's a bit awkward, right? Like how am I? Can we get a side on hopper? I don't know if them uppers can go sideways, you know. They should. Should we have a look? Let's see what happens when we put hopper in. What's going on now? Sideways hopper. <laughs> um, works like an upside down hopper, sucks items up from the block below. Yeah, that's not gonna do too much good in this situation. Okay. Uh, we do what it automated though. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we are. So, what we could do is we could be really silly and fancy and all that stuff. We'll dig a little hole in. Yeah? <laughs> You're going to see what I'm going to do just because I'm, I'm determined to make it look a bit better. You'll see. You'll see. All right, guys. Uh, so these plates are done. Nice and easy. We're gonna create ourselves some perfect little golden chest. So it's set automatically into the inventory. So if we put this here, that's great. And if we put this here, the slag should automatically get put out in there and that should get put out in there. We'll see once this one process does. So that should be steel. That should be the slag. Yeah, nice and easy. Means it's gonna be able to continuously craft a lot better. And then we should be able to put coal in from the top, right? Does it? What does it? Did it actually say? I wonder. Uh, it allows in and out. It can also be outfitted with preheaters. Yes, it allows in and out. So yeah, because that's what the hopper at the top is for to be like to allow input. Conveyor belts, iron and coal coke are fed in through the top. Yeah, seems good to me. Eat some food again. Okay, guys. So we're gonna want two preheaters, obviously. That's a given, really. Um, first up, let's press F. Oh wow! Look at that. Look at all the mobs that could be born in there right now. Not good. We need torches. Let's go get torches. We, we got a load of torches. Let's just give it a couple. We don't need too many, right? Back down we go. Da, 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 da. Sorted. All right, so these preheaters, let's put blast again. Okay, that's blast. Uh, so, blast furnace preheater. We need iron sheet metal, which we can do. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Um, and we also need the external heater, which is not that crazy either. Okay, so let's get the sheet metal that we need first. Shift click on this quickly. Well, I think it was like this, right? 
and I'm going to need to shoot more in the future so I'm making a decent amount of it, it's not a bad thing. Um, and I'm going to need two heaters, yeah, external heater, which means we need two coils. Do we have the wire? We do have the wire. Just like so. Back over, there we go. Yeet. So we're going to make the two coils that we require. Done. Then we're going to need six copper and eight iron ingots. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we got the right amount, and then we need two redstone. Yeah. Run. Okay, so now we've got that. What we can do is we can make ourselves our heating. external heater sorry then we can make this just like so I believe this has got to be powered as well these parts for them to actually function properly so it's interesting um, so yeah if we do this like this and it's like this like look required power these yeah thankfully we obviously have a quite a bit of it takes obviously a long time but if we get this up and running it's even better for us you know let's place the sheet metal out of the way i mean that we just gonna put that aside for a second um so we're gonna need wires we have some relays and we've got a few wall mounts but we do need more okay um simply because it's not gonna be able to get us to where we need to be but look if i put that here yeah it's we're, we're literally just going to take it like across here without too much troop, hopefully. Although they do go further, but maybe we can just get away with. Can we destroy that? Say. Not sure actually. What in the world just happened to you? Come here. Just like that is what we want it. See, I don't know, it looks nice like that. Give me this back. Yeah. You're going like this. We're just gonna have it going across like that. We're gonna make some more of them. Okay, we're gonna make some more wall mounts. Might seem a bit extra because we don't necessarily need it, but. I want it to look pretty. Okay. I feel like this was the recipe from yesterday. I can't 100% remember. Hey, look at that it is. Alright. So, look, we're going to do this. Yeah. And this is going to move our energy to where we need it to be, guys. I honestly, I find it quite useful like this. Let's pick that up. you there thank you uh, we might need a few more relays but besides from that where in the world are you going look at that relay 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 and beat you up gimme 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 all right now what we can do is we can run our wire from here to here just for now my friend um, you, you, you can come here and you're gonna go there. And we're gonna put a wire there. No. The relay there, thank you. Alright, so from there we go to here. So from here to here. Oh. Ah, it does droop a bit, doesn't it, guys? Like we don't I don't know. Hmm, it almost looks nice without, but the wire drooped, so, do we want to, yeah, let's grab ourselves a hammer back, give us, give us, give us, thank you, let's have a look and see what kind of position we can potentially put this in, because, 
so it's just going to be like that. There's no... Ah. Right then. But that's placing it like where it's been placed now. What if, instead of placing it there, we go to place it on there? Like so. Because that's further up. Then we can place it on that like that. What do you reckon, guys? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, cause we're going to have to place it up so it's a bit out of the way. It looks nice and pretty like that, but it's a bit inconvenient for us. Oh, oh well. Stuff happens, right? Give me all of them. Thank you. So, up like this. Up like this. Yeah. This is probably our best bet, to be honest with you. Look up there. Then up there. Then we're going to get our relays. We have picked them all up, right? I don't know. I kind of feel like we might be a bit short here. Somehow. Oh, no. Yeah, wait a minute, yeah? Did you go in there? Haha, <laughs> see? I know what's going on. I know when it's trying to trick me. So, we're going to place it from here. No, we're not. We're going to place it from here to here. And from here to here. Yeah, that's that's high enough, that one, guys, isn't it? It's not going to get in our way compared to the other one, mud. Okay. Ba -dum. Pull our wire all the way across. It's going to be a decent amount of loss considering it's a rubbish cable right now, but we're not too bothered. We're not too bothered if I'm being honest. Okay. Um, yeah, then we're going to need wire connectors. It would be great to get another relay to be fair and just plunk one because that way I can power it from the back here like this. Um, in fact, Let's see. I'm not gonna hurt myself all the time now coming up and down, am I? No, it doesn't look like it. Good. Okay, so that would be a design flaw. So I think we need two terracotta. Which now we need more. Um then we just need some copper. Bloop. Bloop. One, two. There we go. So if I do this, okay, and then I can do this, if we get some of them, then we can create some of them. See, look how smart I am. <laughs> right. We need light voltage ones here and here, please. Then we've got to connect our wire. Get sorted. So from there, what? Cannot connect a wire to the sink. We're not connecting to. Did we? I was gonna say you're lying to me. You're definitely lying to me. Oh hi, flame. How are you? You okay today? Then we go from there to there, and now these are both getting power. Uh -uh. Steady-ish, right? I wonder how quick, or more fast this is going now. Doesn't tell you like how quicker it's got to actually process. It just says it will. Hmm. I guess we'll see. But as it's working, we can see it's got a block of steel in there, and we've got the slag going out the back. So there's our improved furnace. It just means we can get our steel a lot easier. Um. Oh, you just got back from school. Good, man. And yeah, I'm good. I'm great, mate. Thank you for asking. We've uh, been busy since you last saw. We've got an upgrade of the base and everything. It's been very busy. We've moved on to our immersive engineering. So, everybody, that is our improved blast furnace. Blast oven or whatever you want to call it. 
Oh, actually, wow. He's actually done another one already. I'm almost tempted to watch just to see how quickly it actually does. It is doing it considerably quicker. So that's good. Right. Let's head up and check out. Let's see what's going on. Oh, it's night time. Let's go sleep. We still got to put decorations up here in that. Like, it's so empty. I built the building and didn't really think about what we were putting in it. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we got lots of space. It's all good, though. Uh, yeah, so the armor bar, that's um, one of the mods. That it's called um, Overloaded Armor. Um, and basically what it is, I've got so much armor and everything now through the Astral Sorcery that I had like seven bars of armor up there, which obviously was taking up loads of space, and I have the same for the toughness. So um, because of that aspect, I basically had to get this mod so I could put it like that, so it changes the color instead. Um I've got this armor on at the moment, but that's not what does it for me. Um, it's to do with the astral sorcery. I have done the videos on it though when I've been going through. So, if you wanted to know like how you can do it as well, Flame, for when you play through yours, yeah, just go back and watch the video, mate. Um, I think it's on YouTube now as well, so you can just go back, have a look at it, and you'll see how I actually get it all and how it all kind of works together. But I'm basically invincible now. And I've not even got anywhere near the best armor either. We're, also, we're still using the magma and this for now. This lets us fly. Like this magic. Great. So. Looks like the building is set up properly the way we needed it to. We've got the electricity going across. We will change these wires eventually and that maybe if we need it. But for now it's fit for purpose, you know. Um, yeah, it's definitely doing that a bit quicker for us. So. We just wanted an upper quickly though, didn't we? So if we get ourselves, um, one, two, three, four, five. Five of that. Give ourselves one, two, three, four of this. Um, we'll swap out the plate for a gear. Bing, bang, boop. Go on, you've got to get four and then pop it in there, yeah? Right? I think. Go on. Real confused. Why are you not pooping it out? Why are you no poop? Sometimes, man. Sometimes this game. Yeah, four. Oh, so I have to throw it on if I'm doing gear. That's annoying. Either way. There is our gear. Nice and easy. Saves the smelting and stuff. Back upstairs we go. Da, 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 da. Alrighty then. We just need ourselves one more of these chests. Give me. And I think this is the correct way to build it. Yes. And then we can put that in there. We can get ourselves an upper. <laughs> um, and we're just going to grab ourselves the chest. <gasps> we ran out of chest. No. Alright, give us this. You know, we we need to get to the next stage, you know, because if I think we unlock bonsai hoppers, um, which will be great. I know you're lying. Yo, everybody, F F Flame is t telling lies right now. Yeah, he's saying he's chilling there, yeah, in RL craft. Ain't no chilling in RL craft. <laughs> Not unless you're dead. <laughs> um, I might actually be doing RL craft as one of the series as well. Maybe in a few months. But I think next I'm probably going to go on to that um, external one. Eternal or something. But we're going to see how it all plans out, alright? So, if we... How are we doing this? So we want a chest there. Um... So if I do that, and then... That is one way to test. Look, there's our coal. Uh, we come here, grab these, plunk them in there. Hey, it works! Look at that. 
when you got prop four armor, it's chill. Honestly, I, I um, we played it. Me and my friends played it just before they came up with this one. Literally, what happened was I mentioned it. They decided to put it on. They were struggling for ages. I went off on my own for about a couple hours and found it kind of easy. I got my head around the start of it, how you kind of kick off. Didn't get anywhere, but that's where I did. And then the next day, yeah, I went to go on the server, all right, because me and my friend were paying for it. And I went to go on it, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait a minute, where's where's our aircraft gone? And they're on this, they're on this one. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, we thought we'd chill, take one out. I'm like, oh, th thanks for uh, including me in this. <laughs> Let's come back and they're like, yeah, 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 no, we're doing this now. And I'm like, okay, sweet. But I am thinking of doing it um, in the future for definitely. Where we look at doing properly. So, there is our improved version. We can, we'll probably look at making one of these another time, like being between the episodes. Not huge, you know, there's nothing huge about it. Um, we're still making our coal, coke and everything. We'll turn this back on. Um, put that on to the always again. Just so we can keep burning it, although we're running out of coal. coal. So let's chuck that stuff back. I forgot we got our little piggyback backpack. We don't need that on us. Yeah, we'll use these. And we'll leave them chests there. And the hammer. Okay. So, it's all good for us for now. What we need to do is read this book again so that's that's one of the things we said we were going to get doing now so it didn't take too long yeah it's all set up one thing we're going to need really is the crusher yeah now this is a bit bigger i say a bit bigger quite a bit bigger um i can't remember what is the front face of it as well which is really annoying because i'm i can see i'm going to build it in the wrong way somehow i can just see it in my head i can, I can see it you know um Right. Well, let's just get let's just get doing it bit by bit, and then we'll uh, see if we have to rebuild it after doing it the first time. It's not too crazy. I mean, I mean, it, it really is easy to make them. I wouldn't be trying to find arrows. I'd just make some. <laughs> I mean, our aircraft getting flint is one of the main things you have to do anyway at the beginning. So you should have plenty of flint. Right. So first off, ten steel scaffolding. Okay. So let's just go steel. There we go, steel scaffolding. I think it's pretty easy, isn't it? Just steel ingots and that, it gives us six. Oh, can you guys just give me one moment? Doors just. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Uh, turns out that I've got family over, apparently. Partner's a uh, sister with the baby and stuff like that. I'm probably going to end up wrapping this up as a bit of an early one. Um, oh, well, not my family, they're hers. It's all good. <laughs> right? Doesn't make much difference. Let's um, just get this built, and then we've done at least what we said we do. Probably try and get it around an hour. You can still say hi to them. Right. So, we're going to need... One. What? So first off, we're gonna need some of these. Let's put ten of these. Yeah. Shift click that, and we want our unpacking one, right? There we go. Unpacking plate sorted. Bop bop bop. We'll get that all changed up. Now we've got that going, which is great. Might as well turn it into these for us. No big deal.
Come on. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Sorted. Okay. Um, let's switch out these because now we need some of these. So, for now, in fact, I know we're going to need a load of this for in the future, so let's just. Yeah, why not? Just why not? Yeah, it's like we are going to need a lot of this in the future, so. I think that seems to have more energy consumption. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on it yet. Does it have like a double output, that? It's going up my finger, I didn't realise. So it's more effect efficient to use this too. That's good. See, I'm learning just when you guys are. Don't worry about it. All right then. So, just gonna do this. Okay. Um, we're gonna look back at the book, guys. So we can see there we need one redstone engineering block. They're not too difficult. We kind of should remember how to build that. We need one vacuum plate, I think four iron. One, two, three, four. And four redstone. One, two, three, four. That's done. I think it's like this. I could just search it, but I think by now we should be learning. There we go. That's that one done. Okay. Um ten light engineering blocks. How are we making them guys, eh? Let's find out. So one light these ones we need 10 of these so we need to make five lots of this recipe okay which means we'll make 10 of these so we're gonna need a decent amount of stuff right now guys so let's grab 64 of them 64 of them and get to making it right feel like this was it, right? Oh, I know, yeah, we're going to need 10 of these, aren't we? We want five recipes, but we're going to need 10. Just like so. Okay, so there's the 10 of them made, guys. Um, and then, it's, oh, it's not plates. I thought it was. It's ingots. We've got enough ingots, I think. So if we click plus. One, two, three, four. Just like so, da -da 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 -da. and we'll just kind of split these up across the way, like so. One, two, three, four, five, and there's the ten done. See, so guys, nothing too strenuous or crazy right now. Double click that, put it away, put that up here. We don't need it for others right now. We've made plenty of them. Um, so, uh, it's, I love, I love that it takes it, guys. It's so weird, so useful for us, you know. Um, so we need eight steel fences and nine hoppers. We'll get the hoppers done in a moment or two. Uh, the steel fences is what we need doing for now. Okay. So if we just type in steel, steel fence, which is just this and this. Okay. So we're just going to make a couple since we've got the stuff already here. Alright, so there's this followed by that. I know we're going to need a lot of these in the future, so we're just going to make more than what we actually do need. I'm going to, what I'll actually have to do, I think, guys, to be honest with you, could be area, is I'll just have to make a load of like, these bits and bobs materials just to kind of save time when I'm making the actual episode as well. That will be a good idea. Now we need nine hoppers, uh, which means we need, what, four times... Wow. Really? We really? Is there no other way to make the hopper? Let's check, guys. The casual hopper is still made with the bronze gear. Damn it! Um, and I only say damn it just because we don't have a stupid amount of bronze right now, I think. And I think we do need a decent-ish amount. What's going on? Looks like we've got to make some bronze. Anyone remember how to make bronze? I mean, I can always search it, but yeah. You forget after not having to do it for a while, you know. Look, right here. Molten bronze. Alloying. Three copper to one tin. That's not too difficult. Three copper to one tin. 
that and then five ten yeah so I make us an alright amount we'll come over here I'm gonna go better bing better boom done um oh wow we ran out of coal we need to go and get some coal quickly oh I apologize for that guys oh night time yeah I am liking this house, so especially over the other one. Like, it's, I mean, I should it. All of it in total took me like a day and a half to get sorted. So, like I said, I watched like the entire X Men saga all the way to the end <laughs> while we were waiting just for the time sake of it. All right then. Um, I just want a bit of coal. Let's have a shoot around here. Is that some there? Da 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 da. Cool. What we do is we dig down. Just like so. Oh, we press this so then we don't need to worry about that one now. Come on, it can't be that difficult to find. It's coal, it can't be that deep down. There we are. Alright, we're gonna flow up and we're gonna excavate, guys. And we picked up too much. All right. See how much easier it is now we've got things going properly to get the resource we want. It's ridiculous. Right, come down here. Pick up all this. And we go back up the hole. No messing about, guys. No messing about. Go back over to our nice aesthetic looking house. I'm gonna go in for the front, the front looks better. Still gotta do stuff and obviously we still plan on putting like our bridge over there into that to launch our ta rocket and that off. But for now this is where we're at. Da 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 da. Let me in. Thank you. Right then. Is that a pigman in my house? I'm pretty sure it is. Um if we just double click this nice and easy. Press one again. Grab it. I'm just gonna chuck a bit of that in there. Okay. So we got the 20 bronze there. Now with that, I think it is enough. Um. How many do we actually need? What is it? It's uh four times nine. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's uh, 36 we need. Done. Put that. Away. Oh, you absolute. Right. Let's pick that plate off there. Put this one here. Oh, wait, though. It won't work like that, will it? We're just going to have to stand there for a moment. Now you've gone into there just to be a pain. And all we do is we can just leave it there. It should process itself. I didn't know that would work, by the way. I just accidentally threw some out and just went with it. Eat our food up. Stay nice and strong. So it's six. We're not getting two each time, are we? I was going to say that. That would be OP. Wait, what? No, I did my maths right. So I've messed up somewhere. Something, something went wrong. Ow. Well, I settled at 32, would do that. What? Oh, you still got some. 40 did. There we go. And do it like that. So there we have all of that that we require. 
We're just gonna go and get this bits and bobs. One minute, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Just explaining to the missus that I'm uh, just kind of finishing up on this after I've done this part. Okay. So we are going to need nine chests in total here. Um, do we have any just random other wood that we can use for this purpose? Mulberry wood. Can I make chests out of this? Yes, we can. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, no worries, Flame. You enjoy, mate. Right, so we need three more chests, which we can easily get, hopefully, through this here. Yeah. All right, then. So if we just do 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 do, boop. There's the nine hoppers we require, guys. down and we got all our little bits and bobs here now okay so we're just gonna put it all here and we're gonna hopefully build it I think we're good to build it here to be honest with you so let's plant that here I think you actually have to build this sideways almost as well so it's fine for us um, let's have a look so look if we were building it off the side here like this I believe this is like the front, to be honest with you. So there's the bottom, light, light. Okay, so it's just like... How, how, how many, what, why, why did that? So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, perfect. Um, so we're gonna go for, say, the middle of this here. We're gonna want it here. We'll go one, two. Three, two, three. So that's like a one, two, three gap like that I saw. Let's just double check that's right. Oh, no. no, no. Right. It's slightly wrong, so. We're doing it like that, are we? And then. Da, da, da. Yeah. Can pause it on each level. Like, look, if we click pause now, we can kind of see. So now the bottom is just scaffold, yeah? Look, just like this, and then like that. Yeah, so that's the bottom side done. Refer back to our handy little book, okay? Uh, this next part, pretty simplistic. We have this here. We have that there, okay? We come back to our book, and we can kind of see... Oh yeah, we made two more extra of that, didn't we? We only need ten. Yeah, so we can kind of see it's just like kind of going round now with the fence. How many did we need then? Eight fences. So yeah, because then you all, all we do is we go like this. Okay. Just like so. And then it's just the hoppers on the top. And now we go over and get our false hammer, as usual. Where that? Where at? There it is. And do we right click this? No? This? Ha ha! And we've done it, guys. That's it, Bill. Done. Okay. So, all we need to do now is... It doesn't have a user interface, as, a, as far as I know. Yeah, um, I'm glad we built. We seem to have built it the right way around as well, which is useful. Um, I believe our power system goes here. So we put power here. Anything we chuck in is going to come out this side here. So we're going to put a chest there. Yeah. Um, also, this is the first way to double your R's as well, guys. Right. So that's one thing to keep in mind. This will start your R doubling process because what essentially you do is you put something in there and it will turn it into grit. And then them to them grit can be turned 
directly into the R's themselves. So it is a good way of doubling R's if you're struggling gaming them. But honestly, I imagine by this point you shouldn't really. Um, all we need is we're going to need some relays, this, that, and that. Okay. Um, I'm going to set up, a, I don't know if it's a dropper system that's going to be better or whatever, but essentially you have to throw the stuff in here. Yeah. Um, so it might be better to put a dropper system like, and then you can just put stuff in the dropper that you want to go in there and to automate it. Um, or you can do it off like, the, like you know, blocks like this if you wanted to. Um, you could set up a conveyor belt, you know, put yourself a few conveyor belts down, um, do a hopper system and then just put it into a chest and yeah. There's a lot you can do with this mod, there's so much it's a bit difficult to kind of just explain briefly. It would take so long to kind of go through every aspect of it, so that's why I'm not really trying to at the moment. I'm just, you know, having a bit of fun with it. So, we're going to connect. What do you mean? You to here, thank you. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this part here, yeah. And we're gonna go there. Put the relay. You messed up. Get back in my inventory. Give me. Um. And then you to there. Perfect. Then we can put the wire relay and then that to that. Okay, and if that's working, yeah, look, we're getting power. All right, guys. So, we have a functioning crusher now. Yeah. Um, if I don't know if it kind of tells you really what the crusher does. So, if I put crush, no, um, let's, let's put grit. Yeah, because we put grit. Then we can click the crusher, right? And then what we do if we press usage on the crusher, we can see. So it will literally kind of do what you'd expect. So it crushes loads of stuff. You can turn gravel into sand, cobblestone into gravel, blah de blah. Yeah, glass into sand and stuff like that. All right. Um, as you go through, there's like extra stuff that you can get. All right, for it, bits of it. So it's basically like a gigantic grinder, essentially. Um, but it works out a lot better for us. You know, gives you better yields and stuff like that. Um, it also lets you like crush like your obsidian and eventually your diamonds. Not that we even know. Look, we know what it is. We know it's a diamond. You're just lying to us now. You're just telling lies. That's all you're doing. Um, but we do need it um, for like some of this hot stuff and that like later on, guys. So it will come in handy. There was one thing in particular I'm sure we needed it for as well. Uh, oh, yeah, we can get two stardust now from that, so if we need stardust, we'll put that in there instead of this, which is better for us. Um, same with the aquamarine, like we can double that if we need, although we've done a lot of that stuff, we don't really require it too much. But as you can see, look, if you put like one aluminium on, you'll get like two grit, and the same for your other things like later on, yeah? If you're putting the ore in there, you're gonna get two out of it, okay? Which means basically you can double your ores. So ones that are a bit more difficult to acquire, I gotta be more profitable to do this for. I mean, with our excavate, we're pretty much set. I'm sure you'd agree. Like, we're not really in a super bad situation or anything. But yeah, it has got lots of uses. You know, as you can qu quite clearly see. Um, I mean, look, we can showcase this now. So if we. Right, so if I just said we get some of this, yeah. We just come up and we throw it into the top. So you literally just throw it. Yeah. I don't know how much it stacks anymore, like last time it was like witching on me, so I wonder if I can just keep going. There we go, so it's just going to keep processing it, like I think it will just kind of sit on top of it. If I go near it, it won't, oh it's not picking it up, okay. Good, so, we're going to let that process, so technically we should get 64 iron grit, and we're also getting nickel as a side product, yeah? So that's an extra little bonus for us. Right, so you can kind of see the use for this um, iron grit and stuff. It's a lot easier to get because you obviously can get doubles. And if you press usage on that, we need a lot for the insulating glass. Later on for the arc furnace, you can use it in better methods. But it's very useful, guys. Okay. Is there anything else we need it for? Uh, oh, we need iron nickel for in the bar. Not 
out that we can really do make anything out of it for now. I just want to double check to make sure it's working functional. And like I say, you know, there's ways to automate this. You can put uh, a dropper with a chest, maybe in a thingy going into it, nice and simple. Um, have the dropper drop everything all at once. I don't know how this works. I don't know if it kind of messes up if it doesn't swallow it all whole, but if you look there, look, 64. And then all you do with this is you can put it anywhere, really, to uh, smelt it back into actual ingots, as far as I know. Unless that's locked right now. What's going on? Oh. So we can put it in that furnace to get the one by one. Have they changed? Hmm. So they have, they've changed it. So I imagine if I go to put this in here. Okay, guys. So we can't do the, da the actual R doubling until we get the arc furnace by the looks of it in this pack now. Like I say, certain things have changed. But it's not a bad d big deal. We're going to be getting the arc furnace sorted, you know, in a decent amount of time. So, what we're going to do is we're going to chuck these back here. Alright, guys. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. This episode, as you've seen, we've set up this now. This has been going strong. Look, we've got 12 already. Normally, it takes hours to get 12. We've got the side going, so that's functional. We're going to build another one of these here. I'm probably going to do that just off camera. Um, we've got this set up. What I'm probably going to do is just build a little more steel. Make sure, and I'm going to build like a load of wire and other bits and bobs basically. Because what we're going to be doing now is we're going to actually do another episode, which will be the next video. Um, and that's going to consist of us setting up the pump to extract the oil. Yeah. Um, upstairs, which I'm going to need to take the power over and stuff. Once we've got the oil sorted and pumping in, we're going to set the distillation thing up which we're gonna get the stuff ready to be able to build it beforehand yeah in a chest um, and then I can just kind of build it get it going and then we're gonna just kind of go down this side probably in the next episode following that because we have to do the modular stuff so I might just get a load of it built actually prepared um, not the actual structures but you know the resources that I'm gonna need I like make sure I look at it properly and get the ones I need so that you guys can kind of get to the point because we need to get to this next stage now I feel we can get to, we can do a load more with this next stage. I can showcase some more, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I hope you're liking the new setup. I think it's nice. I'm happy with it. I'm glad I expanded. It's working the way I wanted it to. Yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this immersive engineering. Um, you know, I know this is the second one we did, but it's only just kind of picking up a few things that we did and still need to kind of showcase for you all. All right, but. Yeah, as I say, I hope you're enjoying it. Tune in for next episode. Remember to follow, like, and subscribe and all that. Go check out my YouTube channel if you're watching on Twitch, okay? And subscribe to me there so you can see and kind of follow me on the journey, guys. But I will see you most likely now on episode 20. Until then, stay safe and bye.